Hey guys, so this morning what I'm doing is preparing some chicken of the woods parmesan. So we need to start with really, really fresh chicken of the woods and you see how plump this is. It's extremely soft. Um, it hasn't even completely frond out yet. If it's dry or hard or older, it's definitely not gonna be any good. Now you wanna make sure that it's really clean. There isn't anything, uh, bugs, uh, you know, sticks, leaves. Anyways, this is like super, super, super fresh and it came from a, a high tree, so there's not a lot of debris in it. Um, and what I've done is I've sort of taken the pieces and sliced them. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, cut, crack some eggs and then I'm gonna make a little mixture of breadcrumbs and spices and we're gonna sort of batter these with the egg and the breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna fry them. So this is the first step. Now we have our chicken of the woods that's cleaned and sliced. We've got some eggs that we just sort of beat it up, ready to go. And then I have panko breadcrumbs, and I have garlic. I have some Celtic salt, black pepper, crushed red pepper, a little bit of oregano, some basil, so a lot of Italian spices. I'm just gonna mix this up, and then the next process is gonna be taking the chicken, dip in the egg, go to the breadcrumb mixture, and then we're gonna put it on the plate on the side, and then from there, we're gonna fry it up. Now my chicken of the woods is completely battered and breaded in, so it's really ready to go into the fry pan. Um, so you can use this to make chicken parmesan, but you can also make chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, whatever you want. Just one cautionary note, like first make sure your chicken of the woods is really chicken of the woods. And secondly, make sure that it's clean, it's young, it's tender. Make sure that your slices are not too thick because this mushroom absolutely must be thoroughly cooked. So one reason I like to share the chicken palm recipe is because we're gonna put it in the fryer and then it gets baked later on. So I know that it's absolutely thoroughly cooked and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. If you try this, you will be amazed. I'm gonna simply just fry up the chicken of the woods. Um, and I always do like a little test. So take a little piece like this and then just put it in here. You see how that is really not bubbling a lot. That oil is not hot enough. So if it's not bubbling, raise the temperature of your oil, let it sit there for a little while because if you put it in prematurely and the, the oil is not really hot, that chicken of the woods is gonna like absorb the oil, it's gonna be fatty, and you want this to be really crisp and light. So we're gonna wait a few mi more minutes, come back, and then we're gonna fry some up. Okay. So now we're gonna try this again, and I'm just gonna take a small piece of chicken that I've breaded, and I'm just gonna kinda of dip it in. And now you see we have a reaction here. This is nice and hot. So we're gonna go ahead, kinda of shake off your chicken of the woods, just to get any breadcrumbs that might be loose off, because eventually it's gonna burn your oil. And we're gonna just drop all of our pieces in here, one by one. We're gonna let them cook, and then we're gonna turn them over, and then we're going to just continue this process and show you what they look like when they're done. Now I put the chicken of the ones that's been cooked, and I usually will put like a paper towel at the bottom just to absorb any excess fat. You can see these are like crisp and amazing pieces, and it does resemble chicken tenders, chicken nuggets, chicken or chicken parmesan or chicken cutlets. And so I'm gonna finish my batch and then I'm gonna show you later on how to continue to process it. So here's the end result of our chicken of the woods that we have breaded and fried. And you take a peek at this. It is not loose or soggy or anything like that. It's crisp, it's tender, it's delicious. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna put a little sauce on this and some nice mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna pop it in the oven, 425 until it's good and hot and the cheese is melted. I'm gonna serve that with some pasta and garden sauce. Listen, if you don't know 
about mushroom hunting, you have to learn. We're willing to give you a class and um, we can go out on a hike as well. Or if you just figure, I don't really wanna go on a hike, but I'd like to try this, call the shop, 401-766-1488. And next time we go out hunting, we'll be looking for chicken of the woods for you. Have a great day. And here it is, guys. Chicken of the Woods Parmesan. You have to try this. It is delicious and amazing. You will not believe how tasty this is. We are new to this channel, so if you could please like and subscribe, share our videos, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. Go out in those woods and find yourself some beautiful chicken of the woods. You are going to love this recipe. It is so easy and so delicious.